everybody, what's up? Reaper here, and we are going to do the first Video Games Monthly Box of 2022. I am really surprised I did not say 2021. Uh, so for those that don't know, Video Games Monthly is a service where you pay monthly, and they give you video games. It's that simple. Depending on how much you pay is relevant to how many games you get. Simple, right? Before I open up this box, as for those who are new to this, I do not know what's in it yet, because I literally just got it like 10 minutes ago. Uh, I also ordered a bunch of reproduction cards off of OCD Reproductions, and I got those. I just tried those in the Retron. Unfortunately, some of them work, some of them don't, and I will not be showing one of the games I got simply because I want to do a stream on it, and I want that to be a total surprise. But before that, I just want to show you uh, the games I got. I got Final Fantasy II. Final Fantasy 3, which these two games, were, actually all these games were never released in the US, at least not at the time. We got Final Fantasy 5, we got Dragon Quest 5, if you can see that, and we also got Dragon Quest 6. Really cool. Um, all the SNES games do work, Final Fantasy 3 glitches out when I put it in the retro, unfortunately, but it's still cool because I want a physical copy because I love the series so much, at least up to like, I don't know. Eight, I think that's the last one I actually played. Well, counting X and X2, but we don't talk about X2. But um, most of the cartridges are the actual labels that were released in Japan, except for I think this one, because I like this one just because it looks badass. So if you're interested, OCD Reproductions, I think .net. But other than that, on to the show. I can't wait to dig into that. I've been playing Final Fantasy the original all morning. So, so let's open this up. Unfortunately, the box did have a little bit of a dent in it, but oh well. I'm sure the games are fine. So, first off, it looks like we got some sort of goodie. A door hanger. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that would be interesting if I put that outside my apartment door. <laughs> Do not disturb, I'm playing with my joystick. Kinky. <laughs> Let's see, we got the usual bubble wrap in here, which I'm going to just kind of throw away. Feels like we got a good helping of Genesis games here, which is awesome. Because I've always said my Genesis collection is very uh, very limited. And I got one up, which means I actually got a sixth game today, which is awesome. So, every once in a while they'll do that, they'll just give you like a random free game. Very cool. Thanks, guys. So, let's, let's stop playing around with our joysticks and... First game. Ah, Real Monsters. This is a cartoon I just never cared for as a kid. Even as an adult, I didn't care for it. Um, pretty sure it was made by the same animators as like Rugrats, which I did I, really love. I just I never got into Ah, Real Monsters. I've heard of this game. I think it's like a puzzle game. I played a ROM of it years ago, probably when I was like a teenager or something. And I could not understand it. I think it's like a puzzle game. So... We'll try it out. Next up, we got another Genesis game. We got... Battleship, which I already have on SNES, and it seems like it sucks ass. Hopefully this version is going to be better. I somehow doubt it. Um, let's see what we got next. Another Genesis. I, I, are they all Genesis? No, that's SNES. It feels like we got five Genesi in this one SNES. Just because I want to say genocide, I'm sure that's the proper term would be Genesis games, but I don't care. Pac-Man 2: The New Adventures. Isn't this? Did AVGN just do a video on this like a couple months ago, about a year ago? Uh, it looked interesting. It's another puzzle game, from what I can gather out of it. So, really interesting mix of games. Only one repeat from another console so far. Is this Columns? I'm not a fan of columns. I never was. A lot of puzzle games today, I feel. I know Jairz used to play columns. I just never cared for it. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there like, how do you not like columns? And I just, just, just not a fan. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Barney's hide and seek game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to play this with a straight face. Um, 
Do I really have to pop this in the restaurant? <laughs> the answer to that is yes, I will. Um, <laughs> I now have a Barney game in my uh, collection. That's that's exactly what I needed to finish it off. I can stop collecting video games now. Oh God. Last but not least, Miss Pac-Man, which I already have for Genesis. Uh, again, not a big Pac-Man player. I enjoy it. I'm just really bad at it. So, from what I'm gathering out of this, a lot of puzzle games, which is cool. Not really my cup of tea, but hey, I don't care. It adds to my collection, right? So, without further ado, I'm going to stop this video. You're not going to notice it for a few seconds, and then I'm going to switch to the Retron. So, stay tuned. Alrighty, so we are going to start with the duplicate so far. So I feel like that's the easy way to do it. So this is probably going to be relatively short. So let's see, Miss Pac-Man. We'll do that first. I didn't even know Digital Eclipse was around back then. Is there no music? Why do I not hear any audio? There we go. Let me turn this down to make sure there's not extra feedback. Again, I'm not the world's best Pac-Man player of any version. Although I do enjoy playing it. I just, I've never been much of a puzzle person. I'm more of an action gamer. But you can't deny the classics. It's kind of weird, actually, because this actually kind of looks like the, uh, the Genesis version. We'll, we'll complete the first level and then we'll move on to the next game. Because, as again, I think I got Ms. Pac-Man the very first uh, video games box that I that I received. So. But yeah, it's a competent game of Ms. Pac-Man. What else can I really say? It's just weird that they didn't put any, like, extra music or anything in here. Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> it's Miss Pac-Man. What else, what else can I really say? Alright, let's see. Next up, we'll do Battleship. If it's the exact same as the uh, SNES version, this will not take long. If the game even loads. Cool. That's the problem with emulation consoles, I suppose. Maybe. Now it's not reading the game at all. Excellent. Although as I look at the bottom of it, it looks grimy as hell, so probably just needs to be cleaned. Again, we've already played it on SNES, so if I can't get it to run, it's not that big of a deal. There we go. It's alive! God, that's such an ugly 
It's the same game. It's the exact same game. Yeah, okay. It's the exact same game as the SNES one. So again, I've never even read up on it yet. It's just one of those games that it's probably going to just collect dust on my shelf. But it is what it is. It's a game to add to the collection. Next up, we'll do Columns. And then we got the three games that I've never touched. Well, sort of never touched because as I said, I did do a, a Real Monsters at one point. I don't remember if it was the Genesis or the SNES version. But either way, again, I'm just not the biggest Columns fan. Like, I just never cared for the whole... Oh, you only have... Basically a Virgo line. But if you never played it, basically... You get these Virgo... Uh, assortments of three... Three gems. And then once you match three of the same color, it eliminates those three. And that's 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 columns for you. Personally again, I'm not a huge uh, fan of these kinds of games, but if I'm gonna play a puzzle game, you know I'm gonna play Tetris. Alright, that's enough of that. I'm already getting bored. <laughs> Moving on! Let's do our real monsters next. Oh, he plays that little dude. Okay. Find shoes. Okay. You're literally just throwing trash around. Okay, so it's kind of a puzzle game, but I think it's kind of like that Animaniacs game that I didn't understand either. It's really smooth, though, I will say that. It's a really smooth game. I don't even know what the hell's hitting me, though. Like, it's a really smooth game, but it's... I can't say it's a good game so far. Because the enemies kind of approach you way too quickly. Can I, like, change to be one of the other characters? Okay, so if I hold up and see, they do like a little swing. Or up and A, I should say. Yeah, it is up and A. I, I, yeah, I got no idea what the hell I'm doing. Somebody gotta go up there. Oh.
Oh, that's a great helpful arrow. It's like, ah, go wherever. We don't care. I mean, it seems like it could be an interesting game, but... I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Oh. So, there's got to be a way for me to jump higher. I just don't know how. Maybe if I can figure out how to play this. It might be a little bit more fun, but as it stands, I just completely lost. But thankfully, there are websites out there with instruction manuals along with game facts and all that kind of stuff, so I might be able to figure it out. But as it stands right now, I just don't know what I'm doing. So, moving on to the next game. These graphics are actually fairly accurate to the cartoon. I will, will say that. Pac-Man 2, the new adventures, because we're going to save the best for last. Because who wouldn't want to end their game with, or video with Barney? Oh. Okay. That was weird. So we got Miss Pac-Man. We also have Pac-Man 2 today. I obviously do not have a password. So the whole point is you control Pac-Man. Or you don't even really control him. He controls... You control a slingshot. Didn't actually want to do that. Holy crap, what's he doing? What is he doing? What the hell? He died. Awesome. Oh, that's a good Pac-Man. I think when I hit C, it, it tells him to look at the area to kind of, it's like a contact sensitive thing. Oh, what do we got here? A book? They can't like break stuff and then what's he doing? Like
is such a weird game. He looks so dejected. Is that supposed to be like his health? Like, I feel like I have no control over this game. This one is a... It, it's... It's interesting. I'll give it that, but... Uh, that's all I can say at this point. And we got one last game. The Coup de Gras. I cannot believe I'm about to play this. If... The Red John wants to recognize it. Oop. It did recognize it as I was pulling it out. Again, they don't clean the games when they send them, which is kind of a shame, but it is what it is. I cannot believe I'm, I'm, I'm going to be playing this. Let's use our imagination. Oh god, he speaks. <laughs> Hints for grown-ups. Yes, that's for me. Barney is looking for five friends and five presents in each level. Move Barney left and right and use the buttons to find friends, jump, and play. Please play hide and seek with me. I'm actually kind of impressed with the, uh, the speech. Jeez, he's massive. He blows kisses. Did I, like, do a bunch of LSD or something? Like, what the hell is this? Oh god, please tell me he doesn't say boing every time he jumps. Remember, I love you. Oh, please don't ever say that again. Look, it's a present. We found a ball. This is just disturbing. Clearly, it's for kids. Remember, I love you. We found is Barney still on? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> Out of all the things I'm curious about, is Barney still on? Let's go up. We found a raccoon. I just took care of the trash. It literally despawns that quickly. I see a friend. Remember, I love you. Okay, I can see the speech will get very, very annoying very quickly. Look, it's a present. Oh boy. For those that want me to stream that, please do not admit that. <laughs> I do not ever want to play this again. <laughs> oh, this is this is so weird. We found a heart. Like, why is a game like this like have such good speech? This is like a Genesis walking simulator. Why am I still playing? All right, that's the January 2022's uh, Video Games Monthly Box. I am deeply disturbed right now. Because this game, for what it is, it's actually... God, I can't believe I'm going to say this. It's actually not bad, I'm assuming. 
Well, it's for kids, but... Like, if you want a kid to get used to the controller and all that, like, I guess it's alright. It, it, it just blows my mind, because the graphics are actually decent. Like, Barney's got a lot of detail in it. The enemies have a lot... Of, I, I mean, I guess they're enemies. They have a lot of detail in it, and the speech is actually really impressive. But, yeah, that's... Uh, that's all I can really say. I, I gotta stop playing this. I, I, I... There's no pause button. There's no pause button! Okay, yeah, we gotta stop. So, thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it. Um, stay tuned for new content. I'm trying to crank a new review out, and it's just... You ever have player's block? Because that's what I guess I would call it. Uh, what the hell just happened? I looked behind me, and he's moving on his own. Anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it. Until next time, happy fragging. Oh, let's see what you